Hey everyone, Mike here and in this video I'm going to tell you a couple of things about the notification light on the Samsung Galaxy S5 and how to customize what it does. Now by default the notification light uh, can be tweaked from the settings and for that you need to go to device display and you have here the LED indicator and you only have a couple of settings in here you can uh, uh, make it uh, light up in red when charging the device blink in, blink in red when the device is on low battery and of course the screen is off you have notifications blue uh, for missed calls messages or app notifications and of course uh, blue LED blinking when voice recording however this RGB notification LED uh, can actually lit up in a couple of different colors and uh, if you want to use those other colors for your notifications, there are two applications that I'm basically recommending. Uh, you will find them in Google Play, in Play Store. Uh, Light Manager is free right now. Lightflow has a free version and a paid version as well. Uh, we'll go, we're going to start with Light Manager. This is basically what I'm using these days. I really like this application. It has a simple interface and it's uh, quite easy to master. Uh, from this screen you have the operating mode. I'm not really sure what alternating mode does, but I'm just using the normal mode like this. Uh, and you have some advanced settings in here. You can uh, um, show it up, show up that the application is running in the notification icon here, uh, in the notification bar. Uh, you can uh, make it start on boot or start it uh, if you want to later on, you can show those notifications. Uh, you can enable this during sleeping time. And you can set up the LED brightness for him, from, for here, for, from dim to bright. Uh, the LED turn on time. Uh, the static LED, if you want to use that. Okay, and cancel LED after unlock. No notification LED will be canceled after the screen is unlocked. That's not really something that I want to, that I would need. Uh, I just uh, wanted to be the notification LED to stop blinking after I unlock the phone. And you have some color mapping in here. And of course you have some backup and restore options. Okay, and from here you can uh, set up your notification for basic different things. For instance, for mixed calls, for messages, for multimedia messages, for Gmail, calendar reminders, Hangouts, and what's cool, Facebook, Twitter, emails, and some other applications as well from those that you have pre-installed. For instance, you can have something for Star Taxi or Quiz App or anything else that you might want. And that's really nice. Uh, you also have this uh, LED settings for the battery, LED settings for network connections if you want those, for system status if the vibrate mode is on or if the uh, Wi-Fi is on and so, so on. So basically you have a bunch of different options that you can play with. And let me show you how this, uh, how this LED uh, works. For instance, you can make it blink in yellow. And we'll enable the test and turn the device on. Okay, so as you can see here, you can make it blink in a couple of different colors. And you can also create your own colors as well. Okay, let's try this one. Let's see what... It... Yeah, yeah, it actually works. It's some kind of brown. Okay. This was one of the apps. Um, if by any chance the app is not working right, you can uh, try to restart it. You have this option here, Restart Light Manager. If it's still not working right, make sure that you don't have more apps that uh, control the LED running at the same time. For instance, uh, right now I don't have the other app, Lightflow, running. Um, if you have them both running at the same time, there might be some... Uh, uh, incompati incompatibilities okay between them uh, all right and next I'm going to show you that other app I was talking about all right this app 
uh, starts with a notification. In order to ma monitor maximum number of notification, you should enable light flow in the notification access settings. Would you like to enable it? Yes. Okay, have to enable it in here. Uh, from the settings, you can change to a dark theme because it will be better suited for the Galaxy S5. Okay, let's have a look at the settings. First, this, uh, this uh, first option that uh, allows you to enable or disable light flow, the dark theme. You have a root mode for this one. Uh, notification method on battery, on charge, LED brightness. Okay, LED brightness in sleep mode. A uh, couple of particular modes for some devices like the USA and Canada S3 mode, the HTC alternative mode. Uh, okay, uh, all these all these uh, options are pretty much self-explanatory. Um, you can see here that uh, they explain exactly what each of them does. Uh, but if you have any other questions, let me know and um, uh, I'll uh, I'll try to reply in the comments. And uh, okay, I'm not going to go through all of this right now. Um, let's get to the notifications. You can uh, select various notifications for different activities. Okay, and you can add new. Okay, not contacts. Okay, you can have a, a notification priority order from here, but I'm not really sure how you add new notifications. Okay, that's really weird. Probably from here, you need to select the apps. Yeah, uh, basically we're using the free version of the application. I haven't been using it lately that much. And uh, with the free version, you can only have this particular notification. It looks like Gmail, low battery missed calls, uh, Hangouts, email, application, calendar apps. If you want to add more apps, you need to go to uh, this uh, to this section. And from here, you need to select what you want. And you have a bunch of options, really a lot of options. Uh, but uh, it's not really that intuitive. It would have been better just to list the applications that I have installed on my device. And this way I wouldn't have to go through this entire long list of stuff. Looking for Twitter, I can't really find it. For instance, Tumblr. Uh, this one only works in the full version of this application. It costs about $2, so it's not really expensive. Um, but um, I don't know, maybe some of you just don't want to pay for this uh, particular application. And you have a screen uh, test um, that will make uh, the LED blink in different colors. Okay, so at the end of the day, uh, right now I like the previous application, the Light Manager more. It's free and it tends to work fine. Um, however, on some on some devices uh, that might not work all right, um, but on the Galaxy S5 uh, it has been running smoothly, so nothing to complain. If uh, that particular application wouldn't have run, wouldn't have been running uh, all right, I would have to use Lightflow. Uh, again, this does offer uh, some more in-depth tweaking, more options uh, than uh, that other app, than that other app. But you will have to buy the full version in order to make it work uh, work all right. Okay, uh, those were all the things I wanted to say for now. If you have any questions or anything to add to this uh, particular video, make sure to leave your comments below. And uh, if you're interested in more details on the Samsung Galaxy S5, uh, I've covered uh, most of its aspects uh, on the channel in various clips, so you might want to check them out. Alright, thanks for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys soon. Thank you.